day, the state television company of Western Armenia represents all the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast, the historic March of Indigenous Peoples, Geneva 2023, Sons of Western Armenia, Andranik Piloyan, on the issue of the Armenians of Western Armenia, Artsakh Ombudsman, Toivo Klar, you are not honest, not honest at all. There is a serious health crisis in Artsakh, Anahit Avanesian, Artak Beglarian, the indigenous people of Artsakh are victims teams of geopolitical interest and games are at Armenia reached the second round of the Conference League. The 16th session of the People's Expert Mechanism gave rise to a historic event, the organization of an indigenous people's march, which took place on July 18, 2023 in Geneva. Indigenous people's delegations marched with their flags dressed in traditional indigenous clothing. The delegation from Western Armenia took part in the march, which began at the nation's place and ended on the shores of Lake Geneva, where an exhibition of Descahe was held. The march was part of the centenary of Descahe's mission to Geneva in 1923. Descahe belonged to Six Nations Iroquois Confederacy. This exhibition traces Descahe's journey and the development of relations between the city of Geneva and the indigenous peoples. The exhibition also shows how Descahe became a symbol of the struggle of indigenous peoples for sovereignty and evokes the development of indigenous peoples' right in Geneva and from the League of Nations of the UN. The mayor of Geneva, Mr. Alfonso Gomez, who was present at the event gave a speech and then opened the vernissage, the Skahe delegation of Western Armenia. Andranik Piloyan was born in 1962. From 1989 to 1994, he took part in the defense of the array and Empire borders, specifically in the self-defense of villages in the Hadrut, Shahumyan, Lachin, and Martaket regions, as well as in the Yerashavan, Tavush, Noyemberian, and Goris regions of the array. From October 6, 2020, he participated in military operations on the southern front of the Republic of Artsakh. On January 28, 2000, in 2008, Andranik Piloyan was awarded the first degree medal for his services to the fatherland by the decree of Robert Kocharyan. On July 7, 2020, Andranik Sureni Piloyan, the 5th Corps Commander Colonel, was awarded the military rank of Major General by the decree of Armen Sarkisyan. The reason for the decline of the scarlet wormwood is the intensive exploitation of the salt marshes. The privatization of land and irregular cattle grazing have led to reduction and the number of this miraculous vermilion plants. Apart from humans, certain ticks, beetles, ants, and birds also pose a threat to a wormwood population. The technology used to obtain the vermilion dye has remained a secret due to its complexity, and currently only specialists and connoisseurs have accepted to the paint technology. One of Armenia's 26 shrines is the Warden Scarlet Shrine, established in 1987 in the Armavi region. It is situated between the villages of Argavant, Arapaz, and Alashkirt. The sanctuary's primary purpose is to effectively protect the scarlet wormwood, whose numbers have been decreasing over the years. While the distribution area was 10,000 hectares at the beginning of the 20th century, it had reduced to only 2,000 hectares by 1990. With Within this reserve, the main forage plants of scarlet wormwood, namely wormwood and a reed, are also protected as they are crucial for the survival of the species. Artsakh human rights defender Geram Stepanyan presented the results of a survey conducted in Azerbaijan on his microblog on Twitter. Local residents were asked what they would do if they met an Armenian child in 2025 after Russian peacekeepers leave Artsakh. Shockingly, 17% of respondents said they would sell the child into captivity, while 22% said they would chop the child into pieces with an axe and feed it to ducks. Geram Stepanyan expressed his concern about the situation stating, humanitarian aid from Ahdam to Stepanagert, look at this picture, then talk, Toivo Klar, you are not honest, not honest at all. Azerbaijani society is filled with hatred towards Armenians, wrote the Ombudsman. 
Array Health Minister Anna Hitavanesian spoke of the health crisis created in Artsakh as a result of Azerbaijan's complete blockade of the Berzo Road. Currently, there are also medical patients who need to be transferred to Armenia. I spoke this morning and now we intend to carry out the transfer as soon as possible, the minister said in a conversation with journalists after the government session. Referring to medicine stocks, the minister mentioned that at the moment all planned interventions in Artsakh are are suspended all medicines and medical products are used only in cases of urgent need. Medicinal resources in Artsakh are certainly not inexhaustible. This situation represents a serious health crisis because at the moment the whole process is disrupted and no new batches of medicines are entering Artsakh, said Anahit Avanesian. The minister added that she was passing on information on the situation to all international partners, both by telephone and in writing. Azerbaijan allegedly sent humanitarian aid to Ukraine while depriving 120,000 residents of Artsakh of all supplies, including humanitarian aid for 221 days under a terrorist blockade and 36 days under a full blockade. Artak Beglarian, advisor to the Minister of State of the Republic of Artsakh, wrote about this on his Telegram channel. With this step, the Azerbaijani dictatorial regime, on the one hand, is trying to wash away its sins and by humanitarian tolerance from from the West, and on the other hand, it is making another timely move against Russia. Let me give another painful example. For several days, the whole world has been making noise about the suspension of the Grain Agreement, ignoring the fact that fascist Azerbaijan starved 120,000 people by not allowing food and other basic necessities to be delivered to Artsakh for 36 days. My main conclusion is simple human suffering, where the indigenous people of Artsakh are victims of geopolitical interest and games, including in so-called democratic and value-laden countries. In any case, the seeker finds and the fighter achieves the goal. In the rematch of the first qualifying round of the Conference Football League, Yerevan's Ararat Armenia team hosted the Albanian team, Yegnatia. According to Armen Press, the players of the Yegnatia team managed to open the score at the very beginning of the match in the fourth minute. Ararat Armenian's player Eza equalized in the 70th minute. However, in the first half, Yegnatia took the lead again. Ararat Armenia scored its second goal in the 58th minute, with Casemiro standing out for the Armenian club. At the end of the main period, the match ended in a 2-2 draw, leading to extra time. During the extra time, both teams scored two additional goals each, and the match was decided by a penalty shootout. In this thrilling match, the team Ararat Armenia displayed great accuracy and emerged victorious with a score of 4-2 in the penalty shootout. Thank you for your time and attention. Now the musical part, the Armenian folk song. Mertani te vart korangan le 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 jan zertani te vart korangan le 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 jan zertani te Hardcore. 